Because even with like, go circle back to the friends she tried to for, I say force to be friends with. That, yeah, that's tongue in cheek. The boxing, and I was like, she goes, oh, look, before I suggest boxing, she goes, why do you guys arrange to do something with the kids? I was like, yeah. because the kids aren't fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to hang out with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah, want yeah. us to be friends, we got to be friends about the kids. Separate from the kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, but the first thing I thought in my head was like boxing. And she's like, so you don't go do food with the kids? I was like, I mean, they could cover to watch boxing. But <laughs> I'll take them boxing. <laughs> if that's what you want me to do. If you want to expose them to someone getting punched in the yeah, head. I'll do it. But I don't think that's the appropriate environment for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's true though. It's true what you said. We should probably do some of the kids. I'll, I'll, that, that's a mid, not even mid-year, late year resolution. Yeah, no, Absolutely. Obviously, you're hanging out. Well, that's, well, that's the challenge. The, I, I do think everyone's only got a certain amount of free time. And in your free time, you're meant to obviously check in with family mm-hmm. um, on both sides. There may be family events that you're trying to keep up with on both sides. You've got your respective friendship groups. You're, you've got your respective personal sort of things, whether that's fitness or whatever it is. And you got your and in your personal stuff also hobbies, whether you want to include comedy in that or you want mm-hmm. to put it as its own separate thing, comedy. And it's just like, how do you can you do it? Or just can, just can have to what? accept balance it. Well, just it's just adulting in general, like no, all these things. In in this allocated free time we have, whether if you work five days a week, that's two days, and your evenings. If you have more, I don't think you can. It's always something that suffers. Yeah, something suffers. Like for me, uh, exercise has suffered. Have you just completely stopped? I played football once on a Tuesday night, and that game like, kick about starts at nine pm, which is just like not ideal. It's tiring, but yeah. But I used to play like Sunday mornings as well. Mm. At the height when I used to play football all the time, I I I'd be playing football what four times a week. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, five. Yeah, it'd be five side on a Monday. Or seven aside on the Monday, five or seven aside on the Monday, then play Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Um, and Saturday and Sunday morning? Yeah, two you... different teams. Yeah, and then uh, You want to be on, knackered? I think I'm playing Thursday. That's why I was still going out. Uh, yeah, going out, working. I want, yeah, I had a girlfriend to, one point for all Shit, that. Then. Yeah. So you are busy, but it's just... It was more social stuff. Yeah. Do you think there would be more with that schedule? It sounds very busy. Do you think people would you could you use the excuse that you're busy or people would be like Darren? Like we talking about like if you went to a family member and they're like, oh Darren, why haven't you called? You couldn't be like I played football five times a week. They'll be like, like yeah, they'd be like, what? Well, you need to call. You need to call those days you're not playing. But but then now if you've now, got the kids, you got a, oh yeah because what it is people now don't call you to talk to you. They want to see the kids. Mm. So my mum will hit video call I was to see video call coming at like 6pm yeah and I was like it was your grandkids. I could but they're eating dinner right now it's just going to just cause carnage oh so you made the executive decision so it's just so. like alright I'm going to call her back between dinner and bath yeah I'm call back. so it'd be that or my mum and that's when she get a call back sometimes she'll call during bath time it's like not a chance you know, <laughs> I'm sorry you're not getting a call back because to, yeah, you're gonna bath, the flow. Then bed, 
and that's it. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's, anything breaking that up, it just creates chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so it's, it's, you're, you're, you'll pay for it. You'll yeah, pay for it. You'll exactly. Because it's like, hello. Oh, I just hype up the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for bed. Nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> and then she goes, and then like, they're just running around. Yeah, yeah. You got to deal with the yeah. You got to deal with the fallout. Yeah, and yeah, it's something. Some, no, no yeah, chance. Yeah. Not getting a call. Oh, but yeah. But um, yeah. My mom always says, "Oh, I called you." It's like, no, you called to speak to the kids. That's why you you did pick up. If you called me at a time where you know I'm free, yeah, 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 yeah. I pick up. You never called me at nine p.m. because you know that. the kids were in bed. True that. <laughs> <laughs> do, does that obviously you're a grown man but does that upset you do you think because I think sometimes uh, new parents can say yeah. that their relationship changes it, they become almost like a funnel yeah for their kids now nah, no I like I like my mum and family taking interest in my kids that's that's why I see it mm. I, I see that as love for me by you taking interest in mm, mm, mm. my first thing interest in my kids like the other day I was on the way to the gig in, uh, in Margate yeah big Joe call in the family whatsapp and uh, I answered just with my face just staring at the camera, clearly with the train in the background. They could hear yeah. the announcement. So I was like, no kids, guys. <laughs> so <laughs> so the, the, they all, and what was made me laugh is they're all doing the small talk, like, oh, where are you going? Da, da, da. No, you uh, don't uh, care, uh, man. I said, you don't care. You, you don't, don't care. care. You... And like, like, no, we, 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 were all, we were all sat here going, would we like to speak to Darren? And I was just like, shut your mouth. He was like, you don't want to speak to me. That's funny. You want to see the kids. I understand. I'm not offended. They're like, where are they? And I was like, at home. It's like, oh, why is it now we pick it up? We want to see the kids. It's like, I don't know. What's the time? It's like, it's dinner time. And then Nobi messaging the group going, oh, guys, are you still on the call? And they're like, yeah, yeah, call back, call yeah. back. And then Paul, my, my sister, just calls. And then they're like, come on, Nobi, where are you? Like, what are you <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I was like, you don't care about her. Where the are you? Just want to see. Did they the sometimes kid. call her the mum? No, 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 no. She's she's already <laughs> she's her own individual person. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm definitely like down the pecking order. It's uh, you know, it's definitely kids. Then they want to see Naomi, and then me. That's well, like, that's fair. I think from your family, that's fair, and it's yeah, probably vice versa okay, on her side. Of been, yeah, and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that that they want to see her. So yeah, no, nah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, my my, my parents do the same. Like my mom, John is before kids. I'm just thinking how often would I call. I would try. I wasn't very good, mm. but before kids, I'll try to call my parents once once a week on yeah, a Sunday. That, that was my probably. like aim. So at least once a week, just checking. I wouldn't always do it, but that was my. Aim. That was the minimum. And my other rule is, if they cross my mind, then I'll try to call. That's nice. I like that. Yeah. I've not had that. Yeah, I'll try, because I know that I won't call. Mm. If I try to be rigid like once a week, it'll just drift. Whereas yeah. if I'm like, I wonder if my mum, how my mum's doing? I'm like, no oh, shit, let me just call her. And then it's five minutes. And I'll, it's like, oh, what are you calling for? I've literally got no reason to call you. I'm just... Just being, just being hello. Say yeah. hello. Yeah. Because so. my, my wife and her mum, they, they, they could talk, 12 times a day. I've, I've, not, I've not seen anything yeah. like it. Because I, I guess I'm a, I'm a guy, so my relationship with mum's not going to be the same yeah. as like two ladies, so to speak. Yeah. And... Your dad's... I'm, I'm <laughs> you good, good man. I, 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 know you, I know about you. I know about you. Your dad. Oh, well, you call him, you'll be like, your mum's not in. <laughs> so, like, it's, it's cool, but we're not going to be doing all that. So then when, like witnessing that, they can talk 12 times and it's like mm. video call. It'll be like, even for 30 seconds. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Gossiping, this, that, and the other, that happened, this happened, this happened, that happened, this happened, no, that. No, but it's literally, but, I, I, like, like, rest in peace to my mother-in-law. But yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, how am I? I just hear them talking. They talk like, they talk like that. But I'm like, I don't know what you guys are actually talking about. I, like, I don't know. I'm there, but I'm not there. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm hearing none bits, of it like, in. yeah, because I, I made potatoes yesterday. I'm like, well, that's that's not a conversation. <laughs> that's not that's not a conversation. You guys, he's literally the internal dialogue I'd have in my head is like they can just have that with each other. Oh, absolutely. I think I think that must be the difference. Yeah, like I think that must be go, the difference. Yeah, because I was on ASOS yesterday. I saw a pair of trousers for thirty ninety nine. I was like, I ain't paying thirty nine nine for them because they had to pay this much for delivery. I know it's crazy. I was like, you literally are talking about anything. Just there's yeah, not, just, there's yeah, not yeah, one yeah, thing yeah. in your head that goes, nah, they don't want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that filter switches off with them because yeah. they just be 
J'ai bien dit, mais de 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 Because I, so, so it's four boys. How yeah. are you in relationships? Three of us. Yeah, three of us. Married? The other two? Or? No. Uh, my brother was was married. Well, he technically he still is married, but he's got a new partner. Oh. Um, and my second brother, Charles. Yeah, he's been he's in a long term relationship. Oh, so and are they treated as out, outlets or feminine? Jibber jabber. Oh, <laughs> not not to definitely not to the same extent. Yeah. Like definitely not. Nothing will ever compare to the the biological mother yeah. and daughter relationship. So they can talk, but it's yeah. not. And they probably there's probably more energy when they meet up. Yeah. But there's definitely it's not like it's, it's definitely not the fifteen times a it's day. Like it's, it's still definitely like a an ex, sort of an extension of me where the, it's now the calls are like oh where's. Like a video call. Mm. If they can't get me, they'll call her. Yeah. And whatnot and stuff like that. And it's like to it's interesting, see it? him and it's stuff like that. You're like, Naomi definitely talks to my mum. Um, definitely outside of me. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what they're talking about. Mm. Um, and Naomi's like, they're comfortable with each other. Like around the house. Like, yeah, or just way to talk to each other. Way, I think Naomi's more comfortable with my mum than my mum is with Naomi still. Mm. Not in like a awkward way, just like yeah. For example, Naomi told Bob, "Play this straight that you need to exercise more." Oh, hold down. <laughs> is she right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you exercise more. And I was like, huh? It's like no, because you like you're overweight and you're oh! older. No, but not. But she goes, but she said it's such a direct but caring way. Is like you're my kids' only grandparent. Oh. I'll, I'll and, I, and I need you to be around for as long as possible. So please make the effort to eat healthier and exercise more. And then my mum was just like, Damn. So the each time they talk, my mum was just like, Oh, by the way, I went for a walk. And then ah, she tried, <laughs> she tried, she tried she to show her. Walk. And I was like, Good, good, good. I'm oh, I'm pleased to hear it. I'm pleased to hear Damn, it. Damn, that's she right. Yeah, you can't even argue with that. Yeah. That's but she spoke to her like as if you're my mum. This is what I would say to my mum. Mm. She wasn't taking care of herself. So I'm, I would give it to you. I'm not going to be like, oh, don't, no, you should tell your mum. No, I'm yeah. going to tell your mum. But, that, but that's how it should be. Yeah. It, it, it's meant to be, obviously, two families become one mm. and stuff like that. And it's, you get a second mother, you get a second father. And it's meant yeah. to be that sort of harmony. And yeah, whatnot, and I knew it was in a good place. Because when she's told me, she told my mum that. My issue was my my uh, my initial reaction was what do you say to my mum and my, my mm. initial reaction was what did my mum say because <laughs> 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 you want to know if you've got any clearing up to do yeah I was like what did my mum say and she's like oh she comes to sleep with no yeah no I was like oh okay well okay. I think that's her taking it in that's her taking it in would you be that blunt with your mum your own mum uh no, I, I'm just too jokey, so if she can sift through the joke, she'll hear what I'm saying. Mm. So, like, I, I always cuss her eating habits anyway, because so I'll say, what do you have for dinner? And she's like, just nonsense. She's like, oh, I had a sandwich. I was like, what do you mean a sandwich? Like, you're, you do it. So what do you do? You're you a the great sandwich. woman. Yeah, it's like, eat, eat proper food. Eat, eat some vegetables as well. Yeah. And she's like, what do you mean? I go, no, I know you, Bob. Like, you just, just like stodge, just carbs, starch. Yeah. That's all you want. That, hey, uh, man. That, yeah. that, 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 that rice and peas. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you want, you want rice, pasta, potato, and dumpling. And like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, that's like, that's, and then, <laughs> and I'll say it as a joke. And then, like, my mum would like, kind of look like that. I'll, I'll say to my sister, like, no, look at her face. Like, she's, <laughs> I just, described, you I just described a dream meal over there. I just, <laughs> she just wants hard food on top of hard food. Does not been able to pass that for days. Hey, just, come your, on. Your system's just backed yeah, up. Yeah, the, the backlog. <laughs> yeah, the backlog. Fighting, begging for fibre. So you can pass it out, eating that. <laughs> yeah, that, that food is dangerous, you know. I dangerous. Love I love that, man. But, dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. If you spend like, how many years, six, seven decades on that, 
and that's that's second nature to you yeah. then you know it's, it's hard to it's very hard to get them off their their, their staple diets and mm. into this new sort of um more ethical not ethical more sort of mediterranean sort of diet yeah. because they they sort of think it's a rejection of their own culture yeah that's, yeah when you try to shift them, it's like no it's not reject i'm just, just trying to get, that is on if, if your culture's food is unhealthy it's unhealthy yeah that's it they're that's, like oh so you don't like being nigerian and it's like, well, i've never said that no i never said they feel that they like being jamaican i've never said that didn't. that's how they think it's like didn't, what are you talking didn't, about didn't, didn't say anything. no you don't like my food then you don't like, you don't like, so the food that i made for you growing up you don't like that then <laughs> what is what is happening here <laughs> yeah well, like why is this an interrogation why is this a rejection of your country you hate yeah. yourself you have an identity crisis <laughs> like, no it's like all I'm saying is that that, that that food you're eating is killing you. It's crazy. And you need to circle back, cut right back. I, I tell you what might be killing people. Mm. Doctors are great. Auburn Street. Let's go. Let's get, hey! let's get a topic. Let's hey, get a let's, topic let's, let's get a topic here. Yeah, we've been circling. We've been we'll, circling. We'll get a topic and we'll get a dilemma. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have probably seen this now. This news is probably uh, 10, 10 days old. But very concerning. There is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon... Uh, what was? Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> that sounded so dumb. Was, <laughs> but he's been removed from the GMT license. He used to work at Great Ormond Street Hospital. Doctor Yasa, Yasa Yasen, yeah, alumni of uh, Saint George's Hospital, orthopedic surgeon Gosh, and he. There's an investigation that the Royal College of Surgeons done into his previous work, and there's some concerning findings that he was undertaking unnecessary procedures and operation on these vulnerable, very, very vulnerable child kids. as young as four months. Four months old. Hey, we're just, I'm just thinking about when my son was four months old. Operation on four months. Four, can you imagine? This teeny tiny little baby, they're telling you, needs to go under the knife. You're now going to tell that parent. Yeah, that 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 operation wasn't crazy. needed. Crazy, because like my, head loss. Because my daughter's under the care of Great Ormond Street, mm. and uh, so when we saw this headline, I was in my head just like, please don't let it be our doctor, don't let it be our doctor, don't let it be our doctor. You That's must, yeah, you must be in... pure selfish vibes was the first thing. I was. That's like, always the way. Isn't it? Yeah, I was like, please don't let it be him, please don't let it be him. Please don't That's let it be always him. the yeah. way. Because if yeah, because our, without revealing too much information, and obviously I, I. Lightly hit it in the special, but yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so our daughter may require an operation at some point in the okay. Life. And the thing was always, uh, I think they, they monitor her and each time we go, we give an x ray and whatever, and monitor that he's like, wait, another six months, wait, another mm, six months, wait, another six months. Mm, mm, not able to ever say at this stage. The stage when they get to is either go, we've got to operate, don't really want that, or they go, we're, it looks fine. Yeah. We ain't going to see you until she's like 13 or it's like Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so. So, oh, so even obviously without you revealing too much about obviously your daughter's condition. Yeah. Was it the same department this guy works in? Is that what? It's, it, it's bones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because so, you said x-rays. So I was like, yeah, it's, it's bones. I was, so, to, I was trying to do that. I don't know. I don't want to say what I think yeah. she got, but I was like, yeah. okay. So, it's, 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 so I'm just like, orthopedics. Yeah, so, yeah. You might, yeah, that, must, that must have got the hot race. We're in, we're in the Rhino Ward. At, at, yeah. at Great, oh, I was like, oh, oh they said the ward. Oh, Lord. I was, Lord. Like, oh I was like, oh, my God, that's orthopedics. That's, ha, ha, ha. Oh, lady, we didn't need to. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby girl. But I was like, but our care was always, they're just like, the doctors we were working with, they're like, we don't want to operate. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're watch them wait. And, the, and, the, and the attitude is so, they're little, they're young, they're growing. We can't, you can't be yeah, intervening yeah. right now. No doubt. You can't no be intervening. Doubt. And even with us, it's like, well, like what happens? Like, you, do you can do something? Not, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to have someone operate at four months. Unnecessarily. I'm just trying to think of, that can't just be him on his own who decides that. Yeah, so to give a bit of sort of medical sort of background, mm. obviously Great Ormond Street is a specialist tertiary hospital. Mm. So that essentially means that you go there for very specialist cares. Pediatricians or children's doctors in 
your local hospital will refer patients to Great Ormond Street because they are the ones that know what's really good. If you need unique, very specialised care, you you be referred to Great Ormond Street. You can't just walk up to Great Ormond yeah. Street and say... Hurt my leg. Uh, come on, man. <laughs> you're going to do, you're gonna do a U-turn like Usher. That's what you're finna do right there and then. <laughs> like, They'll send you... The, go to UCLH. That's, go the, to UCLH and the UCLH will call us. Walk. Walk to UCLH. <laughs> And will call us if we need it. That's how Great Orange Street is. It's yeah. top tier, mm. world renowned, mm-hmm. world famous. You can't just go in there. I've never been there. Well, I've been outside it, but I've never been inside <laughs> it. Praise be that you have. Come been. on. Because it is literally one of the most inspirational and saddest places in the Yeah, it, place. it must be like, oh my goodness. Oh shit. What happened to that? Like, each time you go there, you go there with like I'm going there with Zadie after all this trepidation and just like oh my god that's like yeah. it's going to be the x-ray they're going to tell us they're going to have to operate and she's going to need like an MRI scan they're going to and they're going to have to sedate her because yeah. they're cause, yeah, cause of her age yeah if you ever needs to do the MRI they're going to have to oh yeah 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 because yeah, 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 she's too young and to plus, say so. when I think about I've had the MRI I would hate her to be the MRI scan yeah uh, so, she, some she, big donut she, so noisy she, she, yeah, she would, yeah she would cry yeah she'd, she'd be petrified it'd be horrible uh so I've got all that in my head. Yeah, absolutely. Da, 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 da. And then I walk in and then I'll see some other kid. And you say, oh, it's fucked up. I'll see some other kid. I'm like, oh my God, like this kid's on the way out. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. You get that feeling. You're yeah, seeing yeah. that. And you're, yeah, you're seeing, seeing, you're seeing really unwell. But that's a hospital, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're, you're seeing a really unwell kid. Really you're the, unwell. And you're seeing the parents just there. It's like, oh, this has been, you can see it in their eyes. Like, this has been, this battle you're having yeah, as it's been there from like when she was born or he was. Born. Oh yeah, yeah you absolutely. You see the kids like they're nine and they're being wheeled out in a wheelchair and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and they're in like a dressing gown, implying that they're they're there. They're yeah, staying. yeah, absolutely. They're an inpatient. And absolutely. It's just like, Fuck me. Oh and, yeah. And then in my head, it's like I look at Zayden. It's like your your problem is something that they actually have a solution for. They just don't know when they're going to do it or if they need to do it. Mm, 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 mm. And and the way they all talk about it, it's like, listen, it's routine, it's bread and butter for us. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't want them to operate. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> but It's bread and butter for them, but yeah. it's still a big, it would be a big but thing for the family. But seeing these other kids, I'm just like, yeah, even if it is bread and butter for those doctors, they, they can't even, they can't deliver it in the way that they deliver the news to us. But it's oh, like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's like, yeah, it puts everything into perspective, yeah. especially, and kids don't choose to be sick. No. And more time, kids haven't contributed to their illness no. more time. Like, we can, this is, this is, I don't want to start blaming anyone, but if you've got COPD, more time, not every time, more time is due to smoke. COPD? Oh, sorry, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Ah, it's like a lung condition. Lung, yeah. It's like the cousin of asthma. Right. If you've got that. Because your parents smoke in the house. Well, yeah, you just, due to smoking history. Yeah. Typically. Yeah. So you can make a fair assumption that you smoked or used to smoke. Right. Kids, when they get conditions, they don't, it's not because of something they've done. They're usually totally innocent. No, so that's why know. we always feel sympathy for yeah. kids when they're unwell. They they look like um, they, they've they got days or weeks yeah. to their life. Which is like, you, you've not done anything to deserve yeah. this. This is all just unfortunate bad luck and... Um, what not so yeah I've never been there but yeah I, you can imagine it's, mm. it's a very sick place and as as a parent when you go there you're, you're, you're hoping to be helped you're hoping to be mm. guided you're vulnerable yeah you, you, you've just talked about the vulnerability all the things that are running through your mind what could this be what, what, what's the ramifications of this decision so to for it to be exposed that there was someone who was taking this vulnerability and taking advantage mm. of it and just undergoing putting babies kids children mm. under unnecessary examination uh, exam- not examinations operations procedures all wow. for their own gratification because mm. what's the other reason why else would you do it trying to get stats up I don't know it's like, Church, they'd probably stats don't, don't up my surgeons, don't know my surgeries you get, you get every, every operation you do you have to put it into your e-log book so you right. have to log it yourself so you, you have to keep a uh, a record of every operation you've been, you've done or been involved with. Shit. Um, so that's for your own sort of personal record. I I, I don't know because sometimes at these special hospitals, because they're usually at the forefront yeah. of surgery or medicine or whatever it is, 
they could be one of the few people doing it. Yeah, so I imagine it'd be less accountability, right? Because it's Absolutely. like, I'm actually one of two surgeons in this country who could actually do this surgery. Correct. And if you want to read, if you want to read about this surgery, then go read this book. I wrote it. So there we go. It's I, a monopoly. I, I wrote this paper, by the way, on this thing. It's like, so that's what I'm doing with the operation. So it's like, who's going to tell Mr. I can't remember the guy's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't do this surgery. No, absolutely. And or that, he shouldn't do this procedure. Because he's like, well, I'm literally the person who invented this procedure. Of course. And that's the thing. That's when they say, Dr. Yasser Jabba. Yeah. That, that's the problem when they say, get a second opinion. Mm. It's, my, 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 it's like me, get a second opinion on this on, the, on this car engine. Yeah. Ask Darren. It's like, my, my second opinion means shit. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. But if you want a second opinion, uh, yeah, that's all right. Hundred <laughs> percent. So, you, so you're going to the specialist because in fact it's even a, a, a third opinion because normally it's a consultant pediatrician in the hospital in your local mm. hospital that's referring you to yeah. gosh. So this is even the tertiary opinion. This is the third opinion. Yeah. So who, who you got to check? And you may have been waiting months or even a year for this intervention mm. that he's now suggesting. So is is I'm not saying it's impossible because you're meant to consent to every procedure, but the. You're, you, there's going to be more encouragement to go ahead with a procedure that they're suggesting because you're thinking, I've waited so long and if this is the solution that's going to fix the problem, then go for it. So yeah, he was definitely taking advantage of people's insecurities and their vulnerabilities mm. and it's sad because it's, a, it's such a fantastic in- institution with such a great name. So they're, they're not going to be happy to be tarnished, to be sullied with all of these allegations. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's like, uh, I'm not sure if any kids died from his actions. I've, I, I, don't think, I, I think people just come to But it's like harm. permanent deformity. Yeah, like, like yeah, like some, nerve damage I, and I stuff saw some like, like that. Like leg length Yeah, like leg length has different, it's like four centimetres, something oh. like that. Four centimetres, do you know how yeah, mad that's that is? That's, that's not subtle, that's significant. You walk in circles. Hey, come on, man, we're trying to, I, I've got a license to maintain. You try to kill me. <laughs> you try to kill Sorry. me. Sorry. I tried to, I about five years today. You want me to laugh, laugh my way out of the greed? I got lasses to it. You said the kid walking in circles. Are you trying to kill me? You're not a good person, man. You're not a good person. A good person would have do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. A good person would have do what you just did. Oh, no. what what did Goodness. you think? I wanted to get your opinion on uh, Project Beckham. Yes, let's 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 see Project. So because this was your this, this is your... yeah my suggestion because obviously we talk about we, fathers nowadays obviously all Project and Bappe and yeah this that yeah Project Sunday, better than Project and Bappe this that yeah well child be a footballer and it. I'd, I think statistics. I don't know if I've not checked any stats about yeah. it statistically. No, go on, go for it. But man. statistically, it's chest, easier. Just make up this stat. Go make, for it. I think it's statistically easy to become a footballer if you're a five old footballer. Yeah, I think I think there's a, a what's it, a one point two percent. Yeah, in, in, I think there's a, a very. I mean, there's a like two two percent fold increase <laughs> percentage. You're likely. I'm just throwing up all these fractions into them. I don't make it a fraction as well. Yeah, in, chance of increase when. When yeah, no, it has to be because I think like those uh, they get into the academy and stuff yeah. like that. Look at Wayne Rooney's son. Look at obviously it's, Beckham. We're talking. It's the about initial barriers. Percy, um, Zidane, Sa- Zidane, Savage, Sharam's got two. two Ram, players yeah, exactly. You, George Weir, mm. you know. So you you see it all the time. Mm. Um, and one of these guys, I think Romeo Beckham. He, I don't know what academy he was with, but Brentford. he was Brentford. At the last, he's what he's twenty two now, so he should. He should. He's, he's been in Brentford, he's been at Galaxy, uh, um, Gal- Galaxy, um, FC Miami, he's, FC Miami. As he's into Miami, so he's that's the club his dad owns. Come on, man, if that's not nepotism. What the fuck? If is you it? can't get a game there, yeah, that, that's scary. Do you, do you keep the the owner happy, or do you try to win? I guess that's the conundrum they're facing. But he, at the age of 22 or 23, 22, 23, either way, very young for footballer, has announced his retirement from football. No injury. Yeah. It's not as if he he's collapsed his ACL beyond repair or any, any, or it was a broken leg and he said, nah, I can't, I can't I'm not going to do this recovery, this rehab. This was a executive decision he's made 
to focus on, I believe, his modelling career. Fairs. I mean, I don't know. If you're playing for a Brentford B team, I think yeah. that's who you played for. Yeah. You tell me you can't make it in League One or League Two. That's to me. That showed me like you, you don't actually have a love for the game like that. You think it's hard one in it? Yeah, I don't think it's hard in it because to me, I'm like fuck it. I'm playing for Fleetwood. Fleetwood Town. Yeah, come on. Because I, I just want to play football. That's actually what I want to do. So. I'm playing for Shrewsbury. I'm playing for Fleetwood. I don't know what leagues these teams are in. I'm playing for Forest Green Rovers. For hey, I think they must be. I think it's, I think I think it's all League One or League Two teams. Forest Green Rovers. I, I think that I think they're League Two. Forest they could. Green they Rovers. could be. I, I'm, my football knowledge is. is they are. They as, do feel like as, one of those isn't FA Cup strong down there. As FA I would Cup, like to think. Second round teams. I've got, I've got, I've got a feeling conference, but they could be a league, a strong League Two. Forest Green Rovers are. Oh. Oh, time, time will tell. Ooh, time will tell. Oh, my phone, not in there, it's been terrible. I'm hooked to the Wi Fi. Ah, it's it's killed, killed momentum. Killed, the, killed, how, how, how slow this is. <laughs> Forest Green, I'll, I'll, I'll try to look up. But, yeah. um, I think the League Two. I think it might be. No, no, one. but I, I do think you're right because, and this is the problem when um, you come from money, they're fourth in the National League. Ah, oh, shit, they are conference. They can't. Sound, they sound. The team sounds very confident. But they, I swear they have been. In, they don't. I think they've probably I mean, had a good run. I think they came up and won't go back down. You're, you're really clutching. I, your I really believe they played. You're, you're, in, you're really. You're really in clutching. the football league. At this, some point, even maybe last season, they played see. in the football league. Well, they someone's highlighted their last year. Uh, they were promoted to League One in 2022 for the first time in history. So they even got to League One. They all they suffered and they suffered back to back relegation. There you go. You see, I knew it. I knew it wasn't bad. I was a fool. No, that. you. you no, it's fair play. But fair. yeah, but he. The, yeah, for the love of football, I'll be pay, I'll be playing for maybe not national league. Maybe that is a bit low. Uh, but yeah, definitely league one or league two. Like what? I but I think that comes from he. League one and league two, with all due respect, is. Is a very competitive level of football, very tough, physically demanding. Yeah, true. And, well, you, and not to be rude, but it's compared to the high echelons of the Premier League or the Championship, it's probably more struggle struggle football for lack of a better term. Yeah. And Do you think that makes a difference? I think it does. Like, like if your dad played, oh yeah, your dad's Beckham, he says, played for United, Real Madrid, AC yeah. Milan, PSG, yeah. and played captain England. Yeah. In your in that kid's mind, does he think I should be doing that though? Oh yeah, as of course. Well. Whereas if your dad played for Forest Green Rovers and the Metropolitan Police, <laughs> like Bellingham, for example, Bellingham's yeah. dad apparently was a like killer in front of goal. Oh yeah, Mark, but in the, marksman. Yeah, but in the lower leagues, but yeah, um, I think his name is actually Mark, isn't it? Mark yeah, Bellingham. Mark, Mark Bellingham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, if he somehow someone's accessed his records, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, lower league football. This guy, uh, or semi professional football guy, was like a monster in front of goal. He played oh, for the police, but was he dad a fed? Huh? Yeah, his dad's yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Um, and I think, if, yeah, if you're as soon as you get into the academy at Birmingham City, you're like, I've done better than my dad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so true. this is worth me continuing. Whereas if you're just like, I'm oh, just not as good as my dad. Well, I, I, I guess think it's got like a certain level you get to, like where it's like as long as I'm in the prem. Yeah, I haven't won Champions League. Well, won yeah, Cassius Michael, you yeah. know, Peter Michael. He's had a good career. Mm. He won the league title with Leicester. I won the FA Cup with Leicester. So yeah. you know, he can go. He can go out where where every good that head held high. But yeah, I guess if your dad's a superstar, if you're not reaching them sort of heights, and yeah, would you go do a struggle that you don't have to do? Yeah, you really don't have to do. And you don't have to, and you can go make good money being a model somewhere and whatnot. Mm. You know, I know it's not all to do with money, but I think that desire, that determination, that desire to really make it, yeah, only comes from poverty. I don't think it, like that. Oh, oh, not only majority of the time because people like Cristiano Ronaldo exist who seems determined to. No, but he says he came from poverty, and it, and he also says yeah. He's also gone on record to say that his son will never reach the level he reached. Yeah, because you know, Poppy is a driver. Yeah, because you, you, you didn't grow driver. up. You grew up with Cristiano Ronaldo's son, so you'll never know to struggle. You, you, I you just grew up in luxury. Yeah, 
you don't know struggle. You don't know. Mm. I'm not saying you don't appreciate what uh, money, but he doesn't know. He can never know the true value of it. No, he's not. He's never been without it. Because um, so I think which players I know have come from good backgrounds. Well, Jude better than has. Yeah. Um, so it's not really seen in football, isn't it? Because yeah. he's a working man. Kaka. Sport. No, he's come. He, Came from money. Yeah. He, he isn't the usual Brazilian favela story of playing, really? playing football with no shoes or the, Damn. the kicking cads. Damn, he, well, he's got good skill for someone who, who missed out on that training because yeah, no. that, that's usually the way. I think he, I don't know what age, he broke his back on the diving board in his own like back garden kind of thing. Oh, like, wow. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that shows a different level. That's why he does the whole like God celebration because he said God. You know, he healed, his healed, healed his back and let him play. He broke his back. But, um, yeah, I think Patrick Bamford. What? Good, good that for him. I think he went to like private school and stuff, wasn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so there's a few. There's a handful. Yeah, 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 yeah. The majority are. Oh, yeah, yeah. You come, come, you're grinding, you poverty. And that's the thing. It's, all, it's so funny when you, obviously you make it and clearly Cristiano Ronaldo's done an amazing job mm. changing his life, change generations life. Yeah. Generations for generations. But it's almost like you're... You, and you want to do this as a parent, but it's almost like you, if you do so well or too well, you're almost spoiling your kids. Yeah. Which is weird. We've had a discussion at home about spoiling our kids. Yeah. That, so Zadie's going through a phase, he's a toddler, so it's a lot of, uh, lot of terrible, terrible threes behaviour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like refusing to eat and stuff. No, it's, it's just, just rude, just attitude, just, just argumentative and just unpleasantness okay at times not not all, not the, time, all the time but just at, okay. the, at the height of emotion you know it's like it's not of, <clears throat> no it's just oh, okay it's yeah just angry going, and stuff yeah like it's going through that um and speaking to like other people who've got kids the same age it's like yeah they're all going through the same mm. thing and then me and home is coming back and forth like is this like just her age or is it actually bratty behaviour? Yeah. And like we we've spoiled her and we need to rein it in. Rein it in and dial it back. And I was like, it's hard to say, I go because she has a lot of things and she mm-hmm. does a lot of nice things mm-hmm. which are actually just a part of her life now. Whereas and I go in a lot of time, whether we know it or not, or constantly do it, a lot of uh we have a lot of things to go. If you behave like this, do you get this? Or if you don't behave yeah. like this, do you don't get this? Um, and that's what we're using to like yeah, create, yeah, yeah. curate her manners. Absolutely. And her but, I can, but I remember when I was younger, there, there was nothing attached to the manners except mm. for, I don't know, this fear that I'm going to get like, smacked yeah. in the face. And but that, that's, all, <laughs> that's all you can do when you're at that level. It's just, it's just the threat of violence. Mm. Yeah, it's just, just behave yourself. Why? Because you just need to behave. Mm. there's no because you won't get to watch TV you won't mm. get to it's just just behave yourself yeah yeah yeah. and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. it's just like oh, okay just relax sit down it's like no why it's just sit down sit down. down when the two fingers come out yeah just sit down sit back down how you mean and it's just like okay and, and this your head I remember as kids being like it is what it is <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no real there's no conversation if you had it mum said Sit yeah, down. it's true. So that it's like, true. There's no negotiation. Yeah. Whereas my daughter negotiates and and speaks to my wife about her upbringing because it's just her and her mum. Yeah. She said it was um, a back and forth with her mum, mm. but it was a back and forth with an understanding that ultimately she's gonna have to do what her mum says. Mm. But her mum gave her the 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 court to say you can argue your case. Okay, so she hear, heard her out, but I'll hear you out. Okay. But you're still going to bed. So I'll do you think? You <laughs> said, so, so, "I hear you out, but eat your dinner." But do you think? Do you let Zadie hold court as well? Yeah, and to be fair, the the flip side of that, we've had compliments on the way Zadie's able to articulate what she's feeling mm-hmm. and and advocate for herself. As yeah, well. Well, from like her nursery and stuff. Yeah, no, she I've. Uh, friends and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, just oh, like Zadie's able to like really express what she w- does and doesn't want to do. Mm. Like she told some other kid off in soft. She was her and her friends playing soft playing. This kid just wouldn't leave her other friend alone. And Zadie was like, "Okay, we're not playing with you anymore now. Like we're playing, we're playing trains of yourself. Like, we're playing trains. Yeah. So we're not, no, we're not playing your game. Oh wow, we're not playing your game. Mm-mm. 
We're playing over. Well, that you're raising a feminist. <laughs> 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 so he's like, so he's like, you don't, you don't want to blunt that because that's, yeah, that's an amazing skill to have in life. As, absolutely. And you hope she carries that as a teenager with all her friends yeah. suggesting dickhead behaviour. She's just like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I, I don't want to do I'm that. I'm not smoking in the park. Yeah, that's not for me. That's not, that's nah, for you know, blow your lungs out. I'm fine. I'm okay, good. I'm not cool. I'm going home. Absolutely. Bye. Stay out here, loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, see you tomorrow at school. Yeah, so you don't want to blunt that. But absolutely. then it's like, is is that just collateral damage of you're gonna create that person? Then when you can't be like, well, be assertive, but not with me. Mm. Not with me. Just sit down, and do as you're told. Mm. So yeah, it's that. But I feel like a lot of our behavior and conversations are, if you don't do X, you won't get Y. And it's yeah, like, meant something. Yeah, we need to somehow find ways to tell her that it is what it is, but. The irony is, as an adult, I don't want her to ever be. Well, why did why did you do that? Because I was just told to do it. You you wouldn't want her to just articulate. I don't want to just grow up to be that person who's just yeah, who's just a robotic employee or just a child, just a mm. child forever. That's true. It's true because I guess. Let me see my upbringing. Did I ever get? I definitely couldn't ask why. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Ask him why is that? Am I your bait? And then we start going down that sort of. Ah. Yeah, I don't mean like this. <laughs> you get parented or like discussed for like what, what? What is it? What are you discussing? <laughs> like that doesn't mean like it, it's it's beautiful to see. Yeah. yeah. But then the part of me that like in my childhood, like what are you trying to like? Uh. Am I yeah? Am I, am I your friend? No. Shut up. Yeah. Like you, you did wrong. Take your punishment. <laughs> But it's funny because when obviously when this fan starts talking more, you're gonna have that. Oh yeah, he start he start he's now like no, yeah. no, and he's getting to the point now where like, he's no, selective. You with... have to come on. Are you like that? Oh, or are you, are you? No, I tried to. Just, I, I think I probably give up too easy in terms of like let's say it's dinner time now, <laughs> and the last week he's decided he like just wants to eat the the proteins. Doesn't yeah. want the, the... Oh, it, he's going through that phase. Yeah, he just wants to eat the the meat. He'll, he doesn't want he'll to go for a carb phase. Oh, I'll I'll switch it. And then he'll get some carbs. He doesn't want the carbs. Doesn't yeah. want the carbs. And then he he'll just want fruit. And then it'll be like nighttime. We just, we'll be crying because he's hungry. It's like it's your fucking keto diet. <laughs> yeah, your <laughs> diet. Your diet. You, you trying to get a don't six remember pack. yourself? Trying to get a six pack. Or yeah, no, you don't trying to do. He's fucking idiot, boo. Like you did this. You did this. Strike your gains. Baby yeah, gains. Just eating, you think you're just eating the protein alone? No, you did this. <laughs> so I don't know why you're crying. Uh, yeah, so he's on that sort of flex. Yeah. Like, oh, man. And man. you just give up. You don't like, make him. No, no, I, like, I'll be there for a while. I'll be like, and then he'll be eating the meat. And I'll be trying to give him the start. Trying to give him. Then I'll just like, oh, man. Then after probably like uh, some time, I'm like, go, do, do, go watch Miss Rachel or whatever you want to do. Go. <laughs> yeah, this guy just, just go, man. You've all be down. You want me down, and then cause I just know during the night he's gonna want uh eat a bottle of milk. Like we try to yeah. wean him off it because it's ridiculous yeah. now. You shouldn't need it still. Yeah, but because he gets hungry because he hasn't yeah. been eating, yeah. so he's on, he's on that. No, no, like he's like no, no. Or oh, he'll close his mouth or doesn't mm. stand this sort oh, of childish yeah. stuff and just like oh, just like. Gee, so yeah, so what you're saying about reason? We've not got to the reasoning stage, yeah. but it's. He's definitely vocalizing when mm. he doesn't want something, and it's just like, I, I, if he start, I can't do this whole Franklin, Michael Kyle <laughs> thing where we're just having full on discussion. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, it's good yeah. to debate. I think it's a vital life skill. Mm. That's what all these Eton yeah. Etonians do, yeah. and that's why they can stand and speak publicly and yeah. articulate what you feel. Vital life skill, very important, very underrated as mm. well. But I, I don't know if I'm the one to teach him. <laughs> yeah, the... it's the craziest thing because, like, I know stereotypically, you, you there's a thing of like you know black kids, uh, um, you know, more under manners from their parents, like, yeah. from our generation, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. not currently. And it's like, uh, and you remember, I uh, remember like my kind of not all of my friends, but definitely a lot of them had way more kind of freedom with their parents mm. and stuff. Um, I think about like, who's doing well and who's not, or who's <laughs> no, because I think of because I think of my one one of my 
like friends who's white whose yeah. p- parents had him under manners. Yeah. He's doing great in life. Like so yeah, you need, I think you need you do need structure. You do need you do need structure. You do need yeah. a, I think you need a bit of fear. You need a bit of fear. I, I think so. I think, yeah. I think I think there needs to be that not even that you're going to get beat but just the fear of I can't fuck this up. Yeah. You need how however your parents are still that in you. But see, yeah, cuz it's a weird one cuz like Zadie and I could do the negotiation. Even Zavi, he's learned that man, Zavi's ears are fucking hard, man. It's, it's, it'd be interesting when he starts talking more, but this kid... He's very perceptive. No, he does not pick up on any kind of sense of tone or urgency from anyone. So like, he'll be just like grappling Zadie. Zadie's like, no. I'll come in, or no one come in. He's like, Zavi, stop. And he's just like, ha, ah, ah, ha, Just play, Zavi, stop. Ha, ah, ah. ha, It just does, doesn't matter. He's, like, he's not reading the room at all. Everyone's going, stop. And it's only when I bark, he's like, Zavi, stop. <gasps> Throws himself back. <gasps> it's just like, just rolling around. <laughs> so, what, what is this? They like, didn't have to get to this. All you had to do was just stop. Uh, whereas, I love kids, yeah, man. Whereas Zadie, it's, she can pick on the tone. Mm. So it's like, play around, play around. Play. And then sometimes I am short with her, but I was like, oh, I didn't actually want you to react as badly as you reacted. I just want mm. you to stop what you're doing. So it's like, she'll be messing around. I like, say, stop. And I see like, mm. okay, no, like, I just need you to stop. That's all. Yeah. Like, you're, not, you're not being told off. It, it mm. weren't that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's yeah. other times where she's messing around. I was like, sit down. <laughs> I was like, stop the noise, man. Just stop, just stop. Just stop. Oh, what are you no time. What are you crying for? There's nothing to cry about. You just got told to do something. Just do that. Oh, want to do that. It's just like, and then it's like, I don't know me's better at being in that. that. You think it's her uh, uh, background? Yeah, I think it's her teacher. Where she's like, all right, we are not stopping until you learn the lesson I want you to learn in this moment. Whereas I was like, just crying it. I don't care. I'm walking out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what emotional damage I'm doing to you by doing this. But you just But cry. I'm not dealing with it right now. I'll deal with it, I'll deal with it when you're like 19. That is funny. <laughs> but I was just like, I'm just whatever, man. I was walking out of the room. And then I'll come back in. He's like, you all right now? And she's like, no, I'm not talking to you. And then I'm like, <laughs> 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 we're the new parents. Yeah, and then he's like, she's like, don't copy me. That's rude. I was like, you're being rude. You've been rude earlier. And then, yeah, and then she's like, mm, mm. I was, yeah, my, my huge thing with Zaid is, Zaid, do what? I'm not going to talk to you about this anymore. I was going to just give you time. You, you come and find me. You want to. When you think about what you want to say to me, that is funny. So you're really battling your free roll. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And then she she will come up to me after. I was gonna say sorry. Sometimes she could be a genuine sorry like that. After yeah. I was like, sorry. I was like, no, no, you're not. Like, just, oh wow, that's, that, that, that's saying is that when her mama's oh Naomi's yeah. gone to her and be like, go on, tell you that sorry. Sometimes, but sometimes she will do it on her own. She's able to oh internalize internalize that. Yeah, the other day she got annoyed that a jigsaw wasn't. So the guy she wanted to, she threw something across the room. I was bringing like fruit to her, so I was like, I'm not gonna withhold the fruit, yeah, but I'm also not gonna entertain any of this. I go, yeah. Your fruit's there, eat it. So I can sit down, eat it. I go, I don't want to hear anything from you until like until you calm down. Mm. And so like, I don't need to calm down. I was like, Say, I'm not talking to you about this. And I oh. left, and then about five minutes later, she came walking in the kitchen, but yeah. Uh, I want to say something. I was like, what do you want to say? So like, I'm say sorry. So like, why? I was being rude. Uh, I was like, okay, do you want to show me how to get out? She's like, yeah. Aww. Yeah, so, that, yeah. So, so it's like, all right. So it's, is it just for, it's just your age and you can't regulate your emotions. And it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you try to work good. that all out kind of thing. So I don't know, it's not doing too bad with it, but. Sounds like you're raising a very, you're both you're raising a very sort of intelli- emotionally intelligent young woman. Yeah, just don't want to be a prick. But Zavi, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we can rescue this kid. <laughs> 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 this guy, he's very happy disposition. Yeah. But it's just like, he's just a little bad monster. Like, he just doesn't understand. Boisterous. Yeah, just boisterous. And like, in the bath, he's almost, he almost drowned himself trying to drown her. Oh, wow. Just, he loves it. Yeah. He loves just, the chaos. Royal Rumble. I was downstairs. 
was doing like stuff on the house. No news. She was in the shower while they were in the bath because she yeah. just come out from the gym. And I just hear the splashing and say, like, ah, that. And Sam's like, nah, nah, nah. I just hear this noise. And I'm hearing Naomi going, all right, Sam, you stop. So and then I heard like the kind of the sharpness and panic. In, yeah, in the voice. voice. So I, was, I come running up the stairs. I was going, I was like, this boy's almost killing himself trying to play. With her. Just, he's pushing her so much trying to grab the toy. He's almost dropped face first into the bath. I was like, and he's just there looking at me, just drenched in water, like, ah. <laughs> 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 I was like, mate, I don't know. Oh, I love, I love that. He's, she's like the mature sort of chilled one, and then he's just on vaults. But it's, that's what it is. Like, Naomi posted a story the other day going, No one can tell me there's not a biological innate difference between boys and girls. And then she, she got a video of Zadie. Zadie's there, like, she's literally put these like little blocks together. Yeah. It's perfect, like, kind of square. And it goes like, No, I'm like, like that. And then she pans to Zavi, and Zavi's in this little ball pit. We've got just spinning around like, wah, 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 wah. and who's gonna get the better pain job? That boy <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> the patriarchy's a motherfucker, man. That boy right there will be on the higher paying job. He'll be asked to lead society. He'll be asked for his opinion and his guidance. Because that that is what the patriarchy has decided. That boy right there, he's the future. He's the future. He's the future. I was looking at him, I was like, I, just, I, I can't see how you end up like her at any point. Like, no, nah, it doesn't happen, man. Like, even reading books right now. Zadie's always, they both love books. Mm. Both love books, which is nice. Um, but I remember when Zadie was his age, her grabbing the book means she wants to sit there and you read it to her. As you oh, read it. beautiful. This guy... It's like you know, like the stereotype, like uh, like black people at the cinema, like yeah, yeah, that's how he reads a book. <laughs> <laughs> so the hungry cat. So uh, the the leaf was oh, there was a little egg on the leaf. Leaf. Tapping <laughs> 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 legs and stuff like that. It's like, why are you shouting? It's a book. L- leaf. <laughs> that is funny. He's a, <laughs> he's a funny boy, man. Yeah, he's, he's a so, funny boy. Why did you scream in leaf? I was like, oh my god, it's not this boy. He's such a boy. Like uh, he's just yeah, I don't know. He, he makes you laugh, but it's just like so much. Yeah, yeah, so, ed- yeah. They got too much energy, and it's like the same diet, and it's like, where do you, where do you, where's this all this coming from? Yeah, and you know, to think I've got another one of that. You on got the way. Yeah, I'm finished. Yo. I'm finished. I'm royally finished. Yeah, after after this tour, I'm gonna hibernate, man. Gonna hibernate. Gonna chill, man. Cause I, I don't think I have energy. Yeah, those, I don't think I'm gonna point. have energy. Gonna finish me. This boy's gonna finish me. I'm scared. Cause I always know that guys who have like two girls, they end up. I always joke like my mate. He's expecting his uh, second daughter, yeah. and uh, I was like, so have you have you invest in the shed yet? Every guy I know is <laughs> go shed attic. Oh, so, uh, uh, so, so where they can hide. You just need the space that they're not interested going to oh. and you could just go and hide so no feminine energy you just like you just, just total just comes to say so yeah. you can put whatever you want in there because they're not going to go in there because they're spiders or there's things <laughs> so, so you can just slowly put things like a mini fridge oh yeah get, get a little tea. bar in there yeah. and stuff like that and pool just, table they have no idea just like, I need to just get this thing from the shed what are you doing in the shed I just have to get some stuff out of the shed they have no idea what's in there <laughs> go, go, go to the garage okay and just in the garage just dad's room yeah just dad's area where's, he, where's your dad where's your dad he's in the garage oh <laughs> no, <laughs> questions asked. no yeah say no more no it's true yeah you need yeah the you, man caves you that you sometimes yeah. see online you're like you that space. Yeah. that's it where that's the wave it? man where i was thinking well you've got two boys though so maybe still the thing maybe just every dad has it mine is the garage there's nothing in the garage for me but, oh, but you're gonna you're gonna make use of it. But no, but my so there's a lot of junk in there, and my wife never goes there on her own. Mm. She's like, oh, I, I need this thing. I think it's in the garage. Could you look at it? Can you look for it at some point in the weekend? Oh, or I'm missing a dress. I think it's in a box that's in the garage. Could you, could you go? Is it got the spiders? Yeah, spiders. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair, fair, fair. And so because of that, and she has no idea where things are in the garage. So is this your literally your domain? Yeah. So there's you can't even say you took too long in the garage. 
she has no idea of it. So, <laughs> so I could feasibly go in there and be like, football's on. I can watch it on my phone. I'm just going to sit down and watch a half of football on my own. Jeez. I could do that. I you're, don't do it. Why? Because you're a good man. But... <laughs> But I say, yo, I could. You <laughs> I could. could. I could. I could listen to podcasts. I could play I play games on my phone. I could do yeah, that. I, I need that. We we don't have a garage. I lost. We, I lost my. No, we, I That's could it. put one. I could. There's a, there is an attic. You got we, stuff up there. We need to yeah. It's get, like get storage. Get, get some stuff up there. Need to lock convert it. Yeah. I have a lock convert. Or there's space. Put, some, put we, some boarding up there. Yeah. And just get some stuff up there. There's, there's, I may have to, the boxes man. up there. It's, I've had to go shed, but I think we haven't got a shed, but I'll need to build, I think, an attic, man. I think that's the wave, you know? Mm. I think that's the wave. I need to escape, because I, lo- I lost. I had a little room before Nathaniel, but it's his bedroom now. Because yeah. he ain't got, it's only a three bed, well, two, oh, I say two, two in a box. Ah, so yeah, so you're going to have to look somewhere else, or you're going to convert up the... Well, yeah, so we've got, we got two in the box. So the box is his room. Currently, the, the second bedroom is that our guest. Yeah. If we come back to the guest room. Yeah. Um, it's like got a sofa bed. Yeah. But, yeah, then the family will probably have to move there. Then the, the, the room sizes are too vast. They're too different. To, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you can't, I can't justify it. They would have to, have to share, the, share that room. Yeah. And then leave the box room for... Maybe that's K, but yeah, we have to look somewhere else. But I ain't got money, man. I need to be yeah. funny. Yeah, I'm not. I think I'm funny, but not funny enough to. The money ain't following the funny, cause the funny is the. An issue where you live is uh, other parts of London. There's certain counties. Yeah. That if you go out, it gets cheaper. There's certain counties where you go out, it doesn't seem to make any difference, no. or it might get more expensive in certain bits. I think that's. No, no. But you know that you know that your South London's got. I moved to Kent, yeah, because it's cheaper. Yeah, absolutely. You get more more bang for your buck. I moved, I moved to Surrey, it's cheaper. But there's like Hertfordshire. It's like depends where. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. A hundred and ten percent. You could kill yourself and just be further away from from London, brother. I, like, I feel bad for people who live like near Buckinghamshire and stuff. Those oh places. yeah, yeah. Long, long, long commutes are a yeah. bitch. Drives are a bitch. You have to go so far out to get that value for money. Mm. So, um, yeah. No, no, you're right. You're right. I just, well, this, this is the million dollar question. I need to get. I I need to get funny. I'm annoyed. I think I'm funny, but I need more money for my funny. You need more money for your funny. And that that's it. And that's all on me. I need. I need to. Basically, do you know what I need to do, Darren? I, I'm, it's a bit unique, but I need to go viral on social media. Yeah, it's just what you need to do. Yeah, but just not by like shaking my ass. I need to. It needs to be comedy related. Yeah, I've got questions. And it's a bit I've niche. Got, I've got questions for you after. The pod. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not pod content. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just it's a bit niche. But uh, we, we, yeah, we, we're drifting. We're drifting yeah. into <laughs> stuff which is not related to parenting. Not related. We we need. I need more money for my funny, but that will come in due course, and the pod will grow as a result. But yeah. I think that's been a very nice sort of special. Yeah. Uh, well I say special I say every episode special but this is a a duo special because yep. uh, our third musketeer is not with us Wild so what yeah he just didn't turn up to work, for work basically he left his job and he's decided that he's not turned up to any sort of work <laughs> essentially um, so I've been one of your co-hosts Mike Wackadiri to the left has been I ask you Bill Pay's mission who's that it's me me it's Darren Joy. Joy. take care and peace, peace.